Welcome to the commencement exercises of 2020. This has not been a year like any other, and it is certainly not the year you and your families envisioned from the day you walked into school in September or when you began your careers 12 years ago. This has been a difficult end to the school year, and we all realize that. But you, the awesome class of 2020, have handled this wonderfully. I thank you for your patience. I thank you for your grit and your tenacity. I thank you for continuing to focus on today, which is your commencement day. While we have not completed the school year in the fashion we wanted, don't let today's circumstances overshadow all that you have accomplished because you've accomplished so much. We are a better school system because of you and your commitment to all that you have undertaken. Enjoy today, enjoy the commencement exercises, know that you are AACPS awesome. Congratulations, class of 2020.
Good afternoon and welcome everyone. We congregate today virtually to recognize the achievements of the senior class of 2020. I'm not only excited, but extremely honored to be able to represent such a diverse group of students and congratulate them on their path forward as Annapolis High School alumni. Firstly, I would like to thank everyone who has made this graduation possible. So to the teachers, faculty, and parents of Annapolis High School, we thank you. Now to my studious, courageous, and dynamic peers, congratulations on your official graduation from Annapolis High School. I know this is not the ending that we had hoped for, but I believe that we all know better than to let a disappointing ending define our high school career. As senior class president, I've had the opportunity to familiarize myself with the class of 2020. Throughout my time at A High, I've been impressed with everyone I've met, becoming friends with some of the most intelligent, caring, and spirited people I've ever known. When I think Annapolis, I think of Annapolis High School. I think of all the ways in which the student body exemplifies all the wonderful parts of this city, the diversity, the integrity, and the unity. The senior class has done a great job in representing the Annapolis community as citizens committed to their service, athletes dedicated to their sport, and students involved in their studies. The AHI community is not only comprised of a diverse student body, including PVA, AVID, and ESOL, to name a few, but has also worked hard to, to serve the diverse interests of our community as well. From student-led and organized climate marches to the Spread the Word to End the Word movement, our seniors have fought for equality and demonstrated unity across many fronts, all in hopes of a better, brighter tomorrow. As we move on to whatever lies ahead, I urge you all to dive headfirst into your future. As a class born in the wake of a national emergency, now entering early adulthood during a global pandemic, we are no stranger to adversity, no matter the form. Life is riddled with ups and downs that are often out of our control, but despite the hardships, we will press on. If anyone has the power, the skill set, or the mindset to change the future in a positive way, it is us. I want to thank you all for allowing me to represent such an outstanding group of individuals, and I look forward to seeing not where the future will take us, but where we will take the future. Thank you. Good evening, families, staff, distinguished guests, and most importantly, the Annapolis High School class of 2020. I'm thrilled to be celebrating the senior class with all the members of our Panther family as we prepare to award our graduating seniors their high school diplomas. I cannot tell you how often people stop me at athletic events, drama productions, and Annapolis community events to let me know that they are a high alumni and how proud they are to be able to say that. Very soon, you will be able to proudly tell everyone in your life that you too are a proud alumni of this absolutely remarkable school. Buenos tardes, familias, personal, invitados, distinguidos, y los más importantes, la clase del dos mil viente. Estoy encantado de estar hoy con todos los miembros de nuestra familia Pantera, mientras nos preparamos para integrar a nuestros graduados sus diplomas de la escuela secundaria. No puedo decirles con qué frecuencia la gente me detiene en eventos atléticos, producciones dramáticas y eventos comunitarios de Annapolis para dejar saber con se actuamos y con orgullosos están de poder de ser oso. Muy pronto, ustedes podrán decir con orgullo a todos en su vida que usted también es un orgulloso alumno de esta escuela absolutamente notable. There's nothing ordinary about the class of 2020 senior year, and there's certainly nothing ordinary about all of us not being able to be together as a Panther family for your graduation ceremony. I very much look forward to spending the last couple of months of your senior year with you around the hallways and classrooms of A High, helping you find a location during Panther Hour, checking out your fabulous yearbooks, and reminiscing about your time as a Panther. I think back to four years ago when you walked into Annapolis High School for the first time. I can picture your faces in the auditorium on the first days you tried to figure out what high school was all about. And there, there four years later, we are a group of students that are wiser, even more awesome, and prepared to take on the world. Graduation is truly a culminating event of your high school careers, but it is not a culminating event of your lives. Rather, graduation is an opportunity to celebrate your accomplishments as you prepare for your next steps in your life. The accomplishments of the class of 2020 are many and are impressive. 
During your time at Annapolis High School, many of you performed in award-winning productions of Spamalot, Hairspray, Lost in Narnia, and The Little Mermaid, just to name a few. You directed productions at Studio 39. You volunteered your already busy time around organizations in Annapolis, such as Century Day Ayudo and the Lighthouse Shelter. Many of you played an integral role in the A High Band, earning excellent ratings at the State Festival, and the orchestra and chorus receiving superior ratings at both the county and state levels. You helped our thriving culinary team start a successful in-house business called Yo Sandwich that delighted our staff members by making and selling lunches to them throughout the school year. And at some point in time, likely early in your freshman year, you figured out just how much cell phone service you received on the red, blue, green, and yellow corners. You supported our Denmark and Germany exchange programs. You completed countless extended essays, internal assessments, and AP exams. Many of you have earned the distinction of having your impressive academic achievements be recognized by the Latin Honor System. The Latin Honor System recognizes exceptional academic achievement by graduating students and is delineated into three levels of honors. Cum laude, or with honors, is for students who received a 3.4 or higher unweighted GPA calculated after the seventh semester of high school. These students are recognized with a bronze stole. Magna cum laude, or with great honors, is for students who have earned between a 4.0 and a 4.3 weighted GPA. These students are recognized today by their silver stoles. And finally, summa cum laude, or with highest honors, is for students who have earned a 4.3 weighted GPA or higher. These seniors receive gold stoles. Please note that summa cum laude students will be recognized individually when their names are called. And for that, you should all not only be very proud of your accomplishments, but feel very fortunate for the people in your life, both at home and at school, who have helped you along the way. These accomplishments are a testament to your effort and energy. They are a testament to your willingness to embrace the challenges and manage the sometimes difficult grind that is often required for you to shine in this way. Earlier, I rather casually mentioned the concept of the next step. The next step is an interesting idea because it means something different to all of you. There is no right or wrong next step. It is truly about working with the people in your life to determine which next step is best for you. And it will be one that is inevitably unique from the other alumni of the class of 2020. But unique, different, diverse, and fabulous is very much what we do at a High. You have spent four years of your lives in classrooms, in hallways, at school events, in the cafeteria, with students that attended 15 of the 19 schools in Anne Arundel County Public Schools, with students who do not speak the same language as you, with students who are often not from the same neighborhood as you, with students who are not from the same country as you, and with students who are not in the same program as you. As I reflect on the unity of the class of 2020, I think of this powerful quote that I've shared with you on the morning announcements on several occasions. We are all equal in the fact that we are all different. We are all the same in the fact that we will never be the same. We are united in the reality that all colors and cultures are distinct and individual. There is no greater unity in all of AACPS than the unity of diverse students, families, communities, and programs that we experience every day at AHI. I challenge all of you to take this pride in making sure that every one of your next steps contributes to further uniting our Panther family. Often the best way to determine what is next is to ensure that you do not forget about how you got to where you are today. As I think about your collective and individual accomplishments over the last four years, I think of these two quotes that do well to capture both where you have been and where you are moving forward. The first is from author Les Brown. He states that life takes on meaning when you become motivated, set goals, and charge after them in an unstoppable manner. And the second quote is from author John Gordon, who says that you need to focus on the three things that you can control your attitude, your effort, and your actions. It doesn't matter what other people are doing or who you think is being unfair. Every day you can focus on being positive, working harder, and making others around you better. And while you are charging after your goals, focusing on only those things that you can control, 
and working to make yourself and those around you better, I want you to remember that you will always be a member of the Panther family, that you can always count on your fellow alumni to celebrate your successes and to raise you up when you are struggling, and that no matter where you go in life, when someone yells out a hi, no matter what setting you are in, you are obligated to loudly cry with, you know. For me, the only thing that is going to be more exciting than you receiving your diploma is learning about all the awesome things that you have accomplished as alumni of Annapolis High School. I wish every single one of you the absolute best with all of your next steps and hope that wherever each member of the class of 2020 goes in life, that they are extremely happy and that they are, of course, extremely proud to be a Panther. Good evening, Annapolis High School class of 2020. I am so honored to speak to you on this most special day of your life's journey. First, I would like to thank Mr. Gelinas for allowing me to be a part of your graduation celebration and for his hard work leading our school through these unusual times. I want to give a special thank you to our teachers for dedicating yourselves to the success of these fabulous students. I know how proud you are of this incredible class. Class of 2020, if there is someone sitting next to you watching this event with you, chances are they are someone who's been there every step of the way throughout your education. Your parents, grandparents, siblings, neighbors, coaches, close friends, whoever was there for you along the way deserve your most heartfelt gratitude. No one succeeds alone, and you have indeed succeeded. I can tell you, having a graduate of my own, that they are full of pride and joy for all you have accomplished and become. This day means so very much to me as well. I have been a part of the Panther family for six years now with my second graduate sitting next to me at the time you hear these words. Many of you have been friends, classmates, castmates, and otherwise involved in my own kids' lives. I know this system of support spreads throughout Annapolis High. You have seen each other through good times and hard times and everything in between. You will continue to count on each other as you begin this next exciting and maybe somewhat scary chapter. I was going to tell you a story of my own life to demonstrate that life has a way of twisting and turning. But thanks to the current pandemic, I'm guessing you know that by now. Your senior year is not wrapping up the way you anticipated. I am so sorry that you have missed out on your final game, final performance, prom, and celebrating this day in one place with your friends and family. Yes, these lost moments are significant, but I can assure you that your memories of your time at AHI were made throughout the last four years and you will carry them with you throughout your life. You have received an education this spring that no class before you has. You have learned to adapt. You have learned the importance of not allowing distance to divide you. And many of you have learned to look at life differently, perhaps developing new priorities and even new plans for your future. As some ancient philosopher once said, as you try to peer into your future, change is the only thing you can be sure of. Don't be scared. You've already proven that you can endure change. And if you believe, as I do, that things do happen for a reason and always seem to work out as they should, then with a few tools that you already have, you will be prepared to turn those twists and turns into your destiny. So what are those tools? Those tools are your brain, your heart, and your mind. After 13 years of school, I can only assume you are aware of the you are aware of the part your brain plays in all of this. Your brain is what has been developed and tested for the past four years within the walls of Annapolis High. Your brain is what you use to learn the Pythagorean theorem and geometry, synthesize an argument in English class, or develop a hypothesis and analyze results for your science project. 
And your brain is what you will use going forward to continue learning in college or trade school or on the job training or whatever other new endeavor you may be embarking on from here, as well as to learn all of those important life lessons along the way. Your heart should be your guide. Yes, your heart is what you associate with all those things that make you feel good, like the feelings you have for those you love and that passion you feel. That meant that for many of you, help decide where you're going from here. Sometimes your heart will break when you lose something or someone you love or when things really aren't going your way, but it has a remarkable ability to mend and grow stronger. Your heart is also the part of you from where that sometimes nagging feeling comes. You've had things all planned out and even when things are going just as you think they should, there may be this nagging feeling that you should be doing something differently, taking a slightly different path or even changing direction completely. Don't mistake this feeling with fear as in getting cold feet. In fact, following your heart often means doing something you are afraid of. For me, that was running for the Board of Education. I'm here because I listened to my heart and when my brain was telling me all the reasons I maybe shouldn't do this. I can tell you for certain that because of my heart, I am right where I am supposed to be. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, is your mind. Your mind is the place where your heart and your brain meet, and it is what makes you, you. Without your mind, your heart could lead you to do foolish things, and your brain could prevent you from following your heart and realizing your true self. Your mind, and some may call it your soul, to me, they are one and the same, is where you turn your heart's desire through all that your brain has learned up until this point into your reality. 10, 20, and even 30 years from now, your life may very well look nothing like what you envision in this moment, but use your brain, follow your heart, and apply your mind, and you will be right where you are supposed to be. I truly believe the class of 2020 is going to change the world. I will leave you with this quote from my favorite book, East of Eden by John Steinbeck. And this, I believe that the free exploring mind of the individual is the most valuable thing in the world. And this I will fight for, the freedom of the mind to take any direction it wishes undirected. And this I must fight against. Any idea, religion, or government which limits or destroys the individual. This is what I am and I am about. Now go out and be you. And congratulations, Annapolis High School, class of 2020. Good evening, Annapolis High School class of 2020. If things had gone according to plan, you all would be cheering right now, and I would have been saved of this very awkward moment of silence. Yet here you are watching me from your living room, wondering what happened to our 2020 vision that none of us saw a global pandemic stealing this very moment away from us. Do you remember how annoying it was every time Jelinas took Panther Hour away? That's me right now, but it feels like we just lost a championship game to Severna Park. Oh wait, we did. Truthfully, I had imagined this day a million times. Showering you all with my immense wisdom of 17 years, trying to make this speech a testament of my a high Panther legacy. So after spending hours in quarantine, struggling to find the right words to make you believe that I was any less scared than you are, of the incredibly changed world with endless problems expected to be solved by us, I realize that all I wanna do is use these short three and a half minutes to look back at the past three and three quarter years to cherish the moments that taught me what it means to be a Panther. I'll keep this simple for you. Firstly, P, Panthers are persistent. Students like Daniel Ruiz, who worked multiple jobs, volunteered at the Centro de Ayuda and the local hospital while managing to maintain academic honors in the rigorous IB program. 
A is for ambitious. A perfect example being Asia Washington, who helped organize the Black History Month celebration for the first time at Annapolis High as a junior. N is for nonconformist, like our peer Arianne Brown, who was a crucial voice for African Americans affected by gun violence while organizing the student walkout our sophomore year after the Parkland shooting. T is for talented, like the incredible performer Lucy O'Brien, an active representative of our school's award-winning theater company. H is for hardworking, students who we honor today, who can't be with us, but as we celebrate, like Sandy Santiago, who spent every day putting his problems aside to make everyone around him laugh. E is for empathetic. Among this year's graduating class is a strong young woman named Cordelia Zakowski, whose sister Gwendolyn was diagnosed with a rare brain disease. She and her friends used the power of social media to raise more than $15,000 for her medical expenses. And finally, R. A panther is always recognizable because no matter where you go, I want you to remember that you come from a place where panthers for the past 123 years have embodied these traits day in and day out. As we strive to carry on our panther legacy, I dare you to turn that panther pride into a passion to be the best at absolutely everything you do. And I don't just mean the best student or the best athlete. I mean the best supporter to your friends, the best brother or sister to your siblings, and the best son or daughter to your parents. In fact, be the best at any role life hands you. Our journey to success may have roadblocks as large as the coronavirus, but our 2020 vision for excellence is still clear because, hey, hi, you know, congratulations, 2020 Panthers. Thank you.
and I earned the privilege of valedictorian because he worked diligently. Christian is an intelligent, talented leader, which has not only made him an exceptional student, but someone who has made a difference here at Annapolis High School. Christian represents the ideal student. He excels at almost everything he does. Some might think it comes naturally to Christian, but it is his work ethic that has gotten him to where he is today. One of his teachers stated that Christian's analytical questions truly delve deeper into the why behind the what of the topics being covered. A fellow student described Christian as someone who asks all of the right questions. Christian not only challenged himself with rigorous classes, but has been active in the Annapolis High community. As a sophomore, Christian assisted one of our teachers and a past graduate in development of a mentor program to give support to minorities. Christian recognized the need to increase the numbers of minorities both applying and staying in the IB program and developed a plan to work with the middle school to give students the knowledge to make the commitment to the program. Although Christian has the drive to succeed, his compassion has always helped him make sure that others are not left behind. In addition to his academic excellence, Christian also excels as an athlete. He uses the same strong work ethic in his basketball practice as he does in his academics. Christian's commitment to always do his best drew other players to him and made him a natural for captain of this year's winning Panther team. Christian has a 4.65 GPA. He is a member of the International Baccalaureate Diploma Program. He has taken 14 IB classes, 6 AP classes, and 10 honors classes. Christian has received acceptance to 11 different colleges and universities, including the United States Naval Academy and Harvard. He will be taking his NROTC scholarship to Harvard University to complete a major in biomedical engineering. Christian MacGyver was a force of nature when he entered Annapolis High School, and he has left his footprint for others to follow. We have the pleasure to have not one, but two valedictorians this year. Kennedy Smith, our second valedictorian, is a mature, compassionate, and extremely intelligent young woman. Kennedy joined the International Baccalaureate Diploma Program her junior year. Never afraid of challenging herself, Kennedy wanted to take the most rigorous program offered. IB graduates are critical thinkers, problem solvers, and have a global mindset. Kennedy has all these traits and more. Although Kennedy is naturally gifted, she is also a smart and determined learner who brings enthusiasm to her classes and healthy inspiration to her peers. Kennedy adds incredible depth to class discussions and can identify and analyze at levels well beyond many of her peers. Kennedy's Italian teacher commented that when many of her students were complaining about an assignment and asking for extra credit, Kennedy set up a meeting with her to ascertain the ways Kennedy's presentation had fallen short and to find out how to improve in Italian. Her maturity in this situation showed her clear goal was to learn and grow independent of issues regarding grades. Kennedy is very active in the school community. She is a state-ranked tennis player showing the same dedication and hard work as she does in all areas of her life. Because of her enthusiasm and dedication, Kennedy was chosen captain of the tennis team for two years. Kennedy is also the president of the SGA, a demanding position for which she has risen to the challenge. Kennedy is very interested in making the world a better place. She has participated in two local political campaigns. She has also become involved with Planned Parenthood at a young age. She became so committed to their mission that she teaches lessons on healthy relationships to young people in Baltimore. She is one of the youngest people working with Planned Parenthood. Kennedy is an extraordinary young woman with an amazing passion and drive. Kennedy has taken 14 IB classes, 10 AP classes, and 6 honors classes. She plans to pursue a career in the public health or healthcare field and government. She understands the need for affordable, quality health care for all and wants to help make that possible. Kennedy plans to attend Barnard College in the fall. Good afternoon, class of 2020. My name is Allie Redford. I've been your treasurer for the past two years. I was president of our One Love Club and I'm a proud member of the A High Swim Team. Well, here we are. We made it. I'm sure none of you imagined our graduation would look like this. 
I'm sure none of you thought the world could look so different and so uncertain. That is what I want to talk to you about today. My friends know that I was born with four heart defects. My heart is on the right side instead of the left. My arteries and veins are switched and I've had a pacemaker since I was 12. My combination of disorders is pretty rare, so even my doctors don't really know what will happen next. I tell you this because I want you to know that even though my future has always been a little uncertain, my challenges do not define who I am. Uncertainty has the remarkable power to help people understand life differently and be grateful for every opportunity it has to offer. Our class currently faces the same thing. We already know that nothing in life is out there waiting for us. We will have to go out and fight for it. Maybe that is exactly what the world needs right now. Maybe we are exactly what the world needs. Today, I want to remind you what kind of class we are, a resilient group of diverse young people who adapt in the face of a challenge. We will be showcased and remembered for what we represent, not for what we missed out on. Rather than dwelling on traditions we lost, we will create new ones. Instead of walking across the stage, our tradition will be to go out together and solve the world's most difficult problems. We can still throw our hats in the air, even if they hit the ceiling, because we will not let anything damper our spirit. We will not let an event define us. What defines us is our ability to exceed expectations, not only in academics, but also with the passion we carry with us. We are composed of 462 individual voices, but at the end of the day, we are one voice, all saying the same thing, that we will fight for what we believe in and use our unique perspectives and challenges to make the world our own. That is the kind of class we are. Thank you. The Annapolis High School graduating class of 2020, Kyra B. Aberin. Nayeli A. Acosta Arazo. Anthony J. Aguilar Martinez. Mauro O. Aguilar Mendoza. Jesley N. Aguilar Contreras. Alexis J. Aguilar Luengas. Tanya L. Alas. Carla A. Alas Malara. Daniela Aleman Chavez. Angel Alvarado. Arles D. Alvarado Alvarado. Ziel E. Alvarez Montalvo. Rita F. Alvi. Summa Cum Laude. Bianca P. Amaya Racinos. Jennifer M. Amaya Velasquez, cum laude. Heriberto Amigon. Avery M. Anderson, summa cum laude. Zoe E. Argebright, summa cum laude. Andrea B. Artiga Amaya. Kevin A. Asensio Perez. Detuan D. Ayer. Alexandra C. Babin. Gabrielle S. Baker, magna cum laude. Stephanie Balderas Flores. Eli O. Barahona Interiano. Deja A. Barnett, cum laude. Arnold E. Bautista Perez. Jasmine N. Beach. Luke S. Bedard, magna cum laude. Ariana D. Bell, cum laude. James T. Belton. Brian A. Benitez, magna cum laude. Jessica Bermudez Alarson. Jesus A. Bernal Pita. Niha Banot, magna cum laude. Carter J. Burge. 
Talia A. Bland, Jane C. Bodor, cum laude, Matthew R. Beck, magna cum laude, Anaya D. Boggs, cum laude, Julia R. Boyvin, magna cum laude, Tania A. Bonilla Tabora, Jave O. Bowdry, Morgan T. Bauer, cum laude, Anna R. Boyd, summa cum laude, Dylan J. Boyer, Jaden R. Boykin, Ivy E. Braddock, Tanner J. Bradshaw, cum laude, Abigail H. Bryles, cum laude, Alicia Lorraine M. Brown, Ariane R. Brown, Bashia L. Brown, Yamarco T. Brown, Zoe R. Brew, Benjamin J. Bruzga, Heaven N. Bryan, Christian J. Balak Costa, Amy A. Burgos, John T. Burkhart, cum laude, Carla L. Butler, Eliza A. Bird Cass, Erica L. Kabawatan, Wendy L. Cajero Luengas, Shea K. Calhoun, summa cum laude, Kilmer I. Campos, Elsie Canales Escobar, magna cum laude, Dason B. Carradine, Malik B. Carroll, Maria V. Shakona, summa cum laude. Asaya L. Chapman. Shakira M. Chapman, cum laude. Shamira K. Chase. Jonathan A. Chima, cum laude. Nakaya M. Cherry Bay. Stephanie Cholula, Moises A. Cisneros, cum laude, Mariah A. Clark, cum laude, Jackson O. Clifton, magna cum laude, Eva D. Coleman, summa cum laude, Tajay L. Coleman, Edenilson Contreras, Estefanie M. Contreras, Erling M. Contreras Quijada, cum laude, Megan D. Cooper, summa cum laude, Lisbeth D. Cordova Nafia, Kennedy K. Cornish, cum laude. Vanessa Cortez, Snowden A. Courtright, magna cum laude, Janaya M. Cromwell, cum laude, Brian A. Cruz Guevara, Abigail G. Cuviello, summa cum laude, Takira M. Dandridge, Haley M. Denisi, magna cum laude. Natalie M. Davis. Taylor S. Davis. 
Zane P. Davis. Carlos A. De La Cruz Hernandez. Rondell R. Dean Jr. William J. Del Cid Baides. Robert A. Dews III. Grace M. De Berardinas Summa Cum Laude. Jaden D. Diggs. Xavier A. Dillard. Lillian M. Disc Summa Cum Laude. Nathaniel C. Dittmars Summa Cum Laude. Alexander James R. Ditto. Troy J. Dixon Magna Cum Laude. Walker N. Dixon. Jack P. Donovan. Larray K. Dorch Cum Laude. Jody E. Downs. Lacey L. Downs. Natasia A. Downs. Madison L. Doyle, magna cum laude. Sydney E. Dreer. Caroline Y. Duenas Gomez. Lendis J. Duenas Gomez. Camille M. Duprashan, summa cum laude. Ruth M. Duran Melendez, cum laude. Kiamani A. Durley. Samuel E. Ellis, cum laude. Nina V. Encarnacion, summa cum laude. Angela E. Enriquez, cum laude. Kathleen C. Erickson, summa cum laude. Alicia K. Erlinson, magna cum laude. Jacob R. Ernst, cum laude. Craig J. Irwin, cum laude. Esmeralda Estevez Oliveira. Marissa J. Falcone, cum laude. Amelia A. Farrell, summa cum laude. Kendall E. Fennelly, summa cum laude. Alex Fernandez. Evelyn Fernandez. Ariana M. Firmacion. Jillian J. Fisher, summa cum laude. Christian Flanagan. Joshua T. Flood. Linda Y. Flores. Fatima G. Flores Ruano, cum laude. Leslie Flores Cholula, cum laude. Miranda M. Franco, magna cum laude. Rebecca D. Fraser, magna cum laude. Kelly N. Frazier. Hannah L. Frisco. Rebecca Wynn E. Fuquen, summa cum laude. Reese P. Gamble, magna cum laude. J.D. A. Garcia Zarate, cum laude. Cameron I. Garrett. Vernon Gaydon. Graham M. Garrity, magna cum laude. Sierra A. Gladden, summa cum laude. Sabrina R. Gleitz, summa cum laude. Haley A. Glover. Henry C. Goldstein, summa cum laude. Emily M. Gomez, summa cum laude. 
Jocelyn P. Gonzalez. Cindy L. Gonzalez Hernandez. Carla M. Gonzalez de Paz. Carlos M. Granados. Theo Quan D. Gray. Lanaya C. Green. Xavier J. Green. Aria Alethea R. Grizzle, magna cum laude. Elia Alicia A. Gross. Akila Nicole M. Gross. Tyler T. Grove, summa cum laude. Brittany Guevara. Estefany Guevara Hernandez. DeAndre C. Gully. Shelby L. Gustafson. Yerzan S. Gutierrez Avila. Eli Hall, cum laude. Skylar Janae O. Homsit. Miranda G. Handy, magna cum laude. Brianna M. Henneke, cum laude. Jack C. Hanley, magna cum laude. Chloe H. Hanna, summa cum laude. Amelia P. Hansky, cum laude. Natalie E. Hardin, summa cum laude. Caleb L. Harris. Marquia A. Hayes. Jake F. Hejazi. Ayani B. Henson. Kejana K. Henson. Carla A. Haras Medina. Michael P. Herberger. Elena C. Hernandez. Yesli Y. Hernandez. Felix A. Hernandez Castro. Sofia M. Hernandez Figueroa. Bernardino Hernandez Marroquin. Brian R. Herrera. Yamilet Herrera Reyes. Jordan A. Herring. Gabrielle L. Herad, magna cum laude. Benjamin W. Hertel. Skylar H. Hertel, magna cum laude. Tajay R. Hicks. Angel Caitlin R. Hidalgo. Ashley S. Higgins, summa cum laude. Jonathan W. Hill, Jr. Evan L. Hodgson, magna cum laude. Callista N. Hofeling, summa cum laude. Devin L. Holmes. William A. Holtzman, cum laude. Mustafa E. Honeyblue. Natalie M. Hood, magna cum laude. Emma A. Horning, summa cum laude. Kayasia M. Howard. Calvin R. Peruby, magna cum laude. Dion C. Hunt, Jr. Jean M. Hutchinson. Chaz D. Hyman. Kenna D. Ireland. Brandon A. Jackson. 
Jenna M. Jacoby. Garrett C. Jenkins, cum laude. Ava S. Johnson. Deja Monet E. Johnson. James Johnson IV. Cabriana A. Johnson. Laranje M. Johnson. Michael J. Johnson, Jr. Pamantre L. Johnson. Shaikim T. Johnson. Jonathan Jalopa Morales. Paris A. Jones. Neofetus A. Kakoyani. John K. Kadala, summa cum laude. Daniel C. Kandra, magna cum laude. Connor Cavill. Tanner J. Keck, magna cum laude. Anna G. King, summa cum laude. Caroline M. King, cum laude. Elsa L. No, magna cum laude. Kayla R. Kopf. Ashley A. Lang, summa cum laude. Maria N. Lanchipa. Julia M. Landis, magna cum laude. Sydney E. Lawrence, summa cum laude. Jason A. Lazo. Kyle S. Lemming, summa cum laude. Yuri B. Lemus. Courtney C. Lennox, summa cum laude. Kelvin E. Leon. Emma C. Levitt, summa cum laude. Markel S. Lewis. Alexa S. Lichtenberg, summa cum laude. Eric M. Lindsay, Jr. Naraja R. Logan, cum laude. Diamond Chiara R. Lowry. Maximilian S. Lucas, magna cum laude. Brooke M. Lucente Waxen, cum laude. Yadani M. Luengas. Jessica Luna. Fatima Y. Luna Palencia. Joseph A. Macris, magna cum laude. Ryan Mahone. Matthew J. Marbury. Yesenia M. Marquez Yanes, cum laude. Caleb J. Martin. Edwin Martinez. Jennifer Martinez, magna cum laude. Stephen Martinez. Milagro E. Martinez Padilla. Daniela E. Martinez Ramos, summa cum laude. Lily B. Massiarelli, magna cum laude. Iman K. Massey. Olivia L. Matthew. Aaliyah S. Matthews. Imani M. Matthews. Rico J. Matthews, Jr. Timiko T. Matthews. Maura N. Mayor Kun, cum laude. Emma G. McCubbin. 
Noah J. McCullers, magna cum laude. Sheridan G. McFall, summa cum laude. Naishan D. McGowan. Teyarmo C. McGowan. Eric M. McGraw. Christian Joseph P. McIver, summa cum laude. Braden Llewellyn V. McLaughlin, magna cum laude. Nigel McLeod. Tia N. McWay. Ingri L. Mejia Escobar, cum laude. Stephen A. Mejia Ventura. Dulcinea M. Metra. Eva A. Mitchie. Benjamin R. Miller, cum laude. Megan J. Miller. Sydney R. Miller. Jenna L. Mish. Samuel A. Mojica Aru, cum laude. Myra E. Morales de Leon. Samuel A. Moscoso Suarez. Zuri D. Mosley, cum laude. Luke T. Mueller, summa cum laude. Quandre T. Mullins. Aaron K. Murphy, summa cum laude. Brianna J. Neal. Khalil S. Nesbitt. Jolie F. Nortman. Javier A. Nunez Arbaiza. Lucia E. O'Brien, magna cum laude. Daphne K. O'Malley, cum laude. Carter M. O'Neill. Astrid M. Olivares Aguilar. Curlin J. Orellana Palencia, cum laude. Saida I. Ortiz Sanchez. Claire M. Palman, magna cum laude. Egardo J. Palacios Bonilla. Daisha Daisy R. Parker. Michelle L. Pedro, cum laude. Denise Peleas Rojas, cum laude. Jacqueline K. Peña Chinchilla, cum laude. Carlos E. Peña Patrice. Erica G. Peña Tejada. Jose G. Peña Tejada. Cynthia Penaloza Torres, magna cum laude. Gabriela Perez, magna cum laude. Kenya M. Perez Orellana. Alakai M. Perrin. Michael Pineda Requeno. Christopher J. Pipkin. Corbin M. Pitt. John Daniel M. Placido, magna cum laude. Blanca R. Palanco Diaz. Margaret R. Poreff. Cesar L. Portillo Mancia. Leonardo E. Portillo Navas. Salali F. Potecki, summa cum laude. Autumn Damaris D. Powell. Craig L. Pratt, Jr. Danae D. Pritchett, cum laude. Claire A. Province, summa cum laude. 
Armani M. Queen, cum laude. Edwin I. Quintanilla. Eileen H. Ralph, summa cum laude. Herson J. Ramirez. Cesar D. Ramirez Orellana. Nubia C. Ramos Flores. Alexandra J. Redford, summa cum laude. William A. Redford, summa cum laude. Michaela A. Reed. Emily Requeno Solorzano. Paola Reyes. Stephanie Reyes. Israel A. Reyes Amaya. Esmeralda S. Reyes Canales. Elijah Richardson. Elizabeth Rimmel, magna cum laude. Luke A. Rineker. Kimberly C. Rivera Barrera. Rebecca C. Rivera Lopez. Zacharias A. Rivera Montoya, cum laude. Wendy A. Rivera Tejada. Mackenzie R. Robinson, magna cum laude. Lorenza Robles Villa, cum laude. Andrew T. Rockefeller. Katie O. Rodriguez. Michael L. Rodriguez. Cesar D. Rodriguez Contreras. Andres Rodriguez Cruz. Kamari Z. Rogers. Deshaun E. Rogers. Ethan T. Rojas. Jair Rojas. Litsi S. Rojas Victoria, cum laude. Sean P. Roscoff. Kevin D. Ruiz. Daniel B. Ruiz de Castilla, summa cum laude. Patricia E. Salmaron. Jose S. Salmaron Hernandez. Kelly M. Sanchez Palma. Michaela E. Saul. Asia R. Savoy. Alexa M. Chouette, summa cum laude. Bernadette G. Schuster. Tate A. Scott. Autumn E. Scully, summa cum laude. Ashlyn N. Seabachan, magna cum laude. Devin M. Sellers. Rowan Senecal. Daniel Serrano Luengas. Edgar Severiano Rojas. Dimitri N. Sfakianudis. Matthew J. Shea. Brianna M. Sheets. Nisaiah N. Shepard. Nevea N. Sims. Alan L. Smith. Christian H. Smith, magna cum laude. Grace E. Smith, magna cum laude. Kennedy M. Smith, summa cum laude. Quincy A. Smith. 
Riley J. Smith Titian Marie R. Smith Ty J. S. Smith Sean L. Snowden Solomon C. Snuggerud, summa cum laude. Michael R. Sonneville. Alexis A. Soto. Claire H. Spinecki, magna cum laude. Megan C. Sparhawk. Gary J. St. Michel II. Michael B. Stafford, summa cum laude. Mason L. Standish. Sarah A. Steele, summa cum laude. Zach P. Stout. Madison F. Sunder. Leonardo Scott M. Swafford. Victoria G. Swank, summa cum laude. Teresa B. Sweeney, summa cum laude. Kimberly I. Swayardi, cum laude. Carly J. Taylor. Eliza Rose L. Taylor. Autumn A. Thorpe. Emma M. Tierney. Diana F. Tobin, summa cum laude. Diego A. Toledo Juarez. Georgia K. Tolman. Edwin A. Torres. Preston M. Treglio. Jennifer Del Carmen Treminio Benitez. Damari A. Turner. Nikayla K. Turner, cum laude. Cameron R. Tyson. Nicholas Ciamoranis. Kirsten S. Valdez, cum laude. Brandon L. Van Dyke. Jerica E. Vargas. Miguel A. Vasquez. Alondra M. Velasco Sanchez. Madeline A. Vison, summa cum laude. Jose I. Villalba Guevara. Robert T. Wakefield. Brianna S. Walker. Asia C. Washington, magna cum laude. Michael J. Washington. John S. Waters, summa cum laude. Alexander C. Weaver, cum laude. Marisha A. Weems. Marlo B. Wenig. Aliyah D. Wheaton, cum laude. Luke C. Wilbricht. Daquan T. Wiley. Keyshawn Jacob T. Williams. Victoria A. Williams. Mara D. Winko, cum laude. Alia T. Womack. Naima S. Wood. Jenna M. Wooster. Lindsay A. Wooster, summa cum laude. James F. Worrell. John Maston D. Wright. 
Desani I. Young, Marlene Zayas Acosta, Cordelia E. Zakowski, Brian E. Zalada Hernandez, By virtue of the authority vested in the Board of Education of Anne Arundel County, under the laws of the State of Maryland, I do now award diplomas evidencing the satisfactory completion of the prescribed course of studies to the students of Annapolis High School, who have been recommended for graduation by the faculty of this school. By the authority vested in me, by the Maryland State Department of Education and the Anne Arundel County Public Schools, I'm pleased to proclaim you graduates of Annapolis High School. To symbolize your new status as graduates, you may now move your tassels to the left. Since you're now graduates of Annapolis High School, please join me in moving your tassel from the right to the left. 